Hello everybody, this is Ben 5 Welcome back to another episode of FS19 Ultra Realism. I'm trying to see if this crow will ever reland. I didn't know what they did. I scared him up and I wasn't sure if he would reland in the field. I've been watching him for a little bit and he just kind of keeps circling around. I don't know. Maybe I just gotta let him be. Alright, well I think this is the moment that you guys have all been waiting for. I have been waiting impatiently. I want to use this new tractor with giant wheels. Let's use the corn head, which we haven't used before. Let's do a little bit of chopping. Now I'm not going to do a huge amount. We're just going to kind of get things rolling here. At least get a field or two taken off. I decided to take this field off because uh, well, it's small. Probably be easier getting the equipment in there. Maybe he's just. Is he just waiting? Oh. Waiting for something to be able to fill, hopefully. There we go. Try to max his er not, not max match his cures control level and just like that we're gonna be filling up chaff here pretty quickly. Actually very quickly. Ten percent already. Now if you remember it takes just over eight of these loads to fill that silo up. Uh, well I shouldn't say that. That's half full. Because then it'll take you to like 500,000. So it's like 16, maybe 17 loads is what we're going to need to fill one of those silos. Um, so there's quite a bit that needs to be done. And I've been trying to decide how much I want to do. I don't know if I discussed this with you guys yet. I don't remember. <laughs> Sometimes I think about this stuff in my head. And I don't remember what I talked with you guys about. Make the quarter. Oh, I almost ran into him. It'd be easier once I have a little more room here. This thing pulls really nice. I'll give it that much. Um, we'll let him get running alongside here. Alright, so if I load this up, we're working here obviously. Um, these two fields are the fields that we planted late. I also planted all of this oats late with the idea that we could chop that. Um, as like an oatledge because in reality you can process most of those crops um, we would do that occasionally where we would have um, haylage obviously we'd chop hay and haylage is usually relatively dry otherwise it would be more like a hay silage if it was wetter we always prefer the dry drier version it usually kept better less mold issues um, also the makeup of it like nutritionally was better um, then you got your corn silage which is obviously corn and then we would also do a oatage which is chopping oats before it was fully grown so you wouldn't take it to maturity it'd still be uh, the kernels the oat kernels were kind of still soft the plants are relatively green just turning color um, I don't know it just it was another forage if you needed it for extra so we have that option if we need to use that oh this guy's struggling for power isn't it oh the front wheels are spinning Oh, we might have to put a front weight bar on there then. Yeah. I bet you he would pull better if he had a front weight bar on. Is the wagon not close enough? 
Because if it's not close enough, we have an issue. Because I don't know if I can climb up above him to get it any closer. Try to go out this way a little bit more. Well, we'd never be able to do this with the other tractor. So this is our best chance at this. Did you find it? Still not usable? What about now? No. How about now? There we go. So from the looks of things, we're only going to get one load off this um, this particular field, which it's a small field, I kind of expected. I haven't decided how much I want to chop yet. We also got to watch for our hay bales. So, like I said, we're just going to put a little bit into that silo, and uh, just to make sure we have some on store and uh, we'll worry about filling them later I think uh, I'm just glad that we have the ability to fill some now because it breaks up the work a little bit because we're a little slow on work at the moment so I'm going to keep chugging along here and we'll see how things go and so you know the front weight seems to help a bit seems to keep up a little better well Maybe not. I thought it was. Oh well, I tried. Uh, looks like we get a wagon and a half, so... From there... Hmm... These are harder to, to chop for silage. This would be an ideal silage field. But it's a little far away. Um, and this one, these fields are off. Would be easier. We could chop some of this guy off. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'll chop off to about here and leave the rest for now. And uh, I think call it good for chopping silage. Um, I do have to go look and see how the hay's doing. So I will probably dump this into the silo and then see where our hay's at, because it might be ready to bale. And if it is, I should probably go bale it, if given the chance. I don't know. But that's where I'm headed to next. Well, I know I skipped ahead a little bit here. It's now autumn. But it was just a lot of monotonous stuff, you know, it was taking silage off, doing a lot of bales, um, lots of hay bales. We only end up taking this much silage off uh, to start with. And we're going to start chopping on these guys here for sure. Um, but beans and sunflowers are ready to be harvested. The only thing left actually is corn, um, which will be coming in and then whatever happens with these guys. They don't seem to be going much further. Actually, I think they're on the second stage. So I don't know if we're going to actually get any wheat out of that. I don't... I guess if we don't, we'll just have to take it into next year and hope for the best. Uh, no. I want to unfold you. So it's time to use the big old combine. This is the first time we've actually used this guy. And we're using the big header. big old draper head. Um, I don't know what this is going to be set up. So we want right, we want back and forth. I'm going to run no headlands right now. Wait during unload off. And it should be dropping, yep, a windrow because I want to be able to bail it. That's going to be the plan here. 
but you can use those bales for uh, for bedding. I already actually started using them for bedding. I think what we're gonna have to do. Oh yeah, I started uh, digging this up. You can see all of the different tree stumps that I have not cut yet. And need to cut. There we go. Um, I need to go get some wagons for that guy. And I figured we'll use the big wagon. The big tra- actually, no. While we're over here, let's use this. Yeah, we'll still be able to use our uh, our auger into our bins over there. We're using this guy. Plus, we can haul fifty nine thousand units at one time. So this would be beneficial, I think. We may end up replacing those gravity boxes at some point. We'll have to see. Okay, that's who's got the gun mine. So we're at 20, 21%. So five passes will be over full. Uh, it is gonna probably run into the run into things, so I'll have to make do with what I have here. So he doesn't hit this. Yep, I saw that coming. There we go. And we'll just have to rehire him. Looks like yield wise we're doing really well. So this these soybeans are pretty darn well fertilized and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna take a bunch of soybeans off and I'm gonna st probably start bailing. Um, the one thing I'm worried about is Tonight it's supposed to rain, tomorrow, all of tomorrow it's supposed to rain, Saturday it's supposed to rain, Sunday it's supposed to rain. We're going to struggle harvesting stuff, so I need to, to get as much harvested today as I can. And then we're just going to have to harvest stuff in between. I'm not too worried about the sunflowers. The soybeans are important because we're going to be baling the straw. And I also need to put down a building for the straw to go into. I just haven't decided where I'm going to put it yet. very possible it may end up somewhere over here on this field so I have to harvest this first so I'll keep you guys in the loop here as we keep working well I'm starting to think I might be cutting it really close on the weather here um, why won't you fold up Oh, because I have it in the unload. Um, I was testing things out. Okay, so. Yeah, we are going to be cutting it really short because there's supposed to be rain tonight. I think this is the shed we want to go with. Put it right about there. With the idea that we can just kind of pull in here. It's wide open. I don't have to worry too much about it. It's plenty high enough for these bales. We just gotta hope that we don't knock them over, right? We'll just put them as such and we'll just keep dropping them in here. And at least they're covered and they aren't gonna rot. And we can work with them here. So when I say that it, we're gonna be in trouble with bales, or with weather, I mean, I'll show you. Let me, uh, oh, there we go. I'll grab one more wagon over here, or one more load, and then I'll show you guys what's, what I have in store for myself. Why I'm going to be working into the night here, because I think there's supposed to be rain coming. Back, let me check. Weather. Yep, it's supposed to rain tonight. About midnight. 
So I've got like four hours to get this stuff done and it's going to go into the dark and I won't be able to find bales because it's going to be dark and it's just not going to work out so well. Um, the last session, I think I had 160 bales. Um, all right, routes there. This session, another 25, so 100 and 185, 190 bales, so that's uh, that's 10 loads here. Or actually, no, that's more than that. That's like 12 or 13 loads. So that is a whole lot of bales to pick up. Um, duels are obviously not ideal for this, because the duels are in the way of the pickup there. I only needed four more, so I figured I should go down the road that had four. Um, let's see how many we got left here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I got less than a load left here. Might be more somewhere else. Um, that's one hay bale sitting there. I'm going to have to grab that. But we might as well go into our stack position again. Like I said, we'll just be able to bring these in here. Basically back up to the previous pile. Get relatively close. Drop that one. And just like that, we've got two loads in. Let's go over to the other field, though. You can kind of probably see it from here if I start going this way. There's a lot of bales out there. Oop. There's a whole lot of bales out this way. A lot of manure in there too. So yeah, these are... Oh, 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 oh. Watch out for the guardrail. So I'll probably start grabbing bales from the far end. Simply because it'll be easier to see those in the light time than it is in the dark here. Um, but I mean, bales as far as the eye can see. I'm not planning on bailing anymore for now. I think we have plenty. We're just gonna run with what we have. Gotta wait. Um, I've got soybeans here. I've got soybeans on a couple other fields. Um, but like I said, the rain's coming, so I'm not sure how well we're gonna we're gonna do here. Basically, we're going to have to play it by ear. This fall looks wet, and uh, it's going to be tough to harvest. I'm glad we have the big combine. Uh, if we didn't, we would be struggling heavily. So at least we have that going for us. But, I mean, that's very much like real life. Some falls are great. Some falls are horrible. Just like sometimes for planting, some springs are great, and some springs are horrible. Grab this one. Should probably be grabbing the ones along the edge here. I'm basically working my way from the furthest point back, but you know I'm not always the brightest when it comes to that. So I'm just gonna keep uh, grabbing bales. I I don't know if I'm gonna give you an update tonight when I finish. Oh, missed that one. Simply because uh, it's probably going to be dark, and when it's quite dark, it does not show up on the video very well at all. I know that for YouTube, um, so it might be tomorrow morning that I show you. So uh, let's hope I can get these bales picked up. And I'll see you guys when they're all picked up, or possibly when they're getting rained on. We'll see. I don't see any more bales. We ended up getting them all picked up last night just in time for the rain to come in. And it's been raining most of this morning. Uh, oh, not these bales. These bales over here. 
there is a hundred and what was it 86 bales I believe all stacked up here so lovely and uh, I've been thinking about this um, so a straw chopper can do maybe three maybe four bales at a time and like transporting them from there over to there it's not easy like the bales can fall out right but I've been thinking about this I actually wondered if that guy would be able to pick it up but I think it is yeah it can't be bales um, if I were to get like let's say that one holds 29,000 a giant 45,000 unit forge wagon here to blend it up and put the bales into there and then take that into there and drop the straw off. Now I'm pretty sure it would go through this opening it should go through there but that would really simplify things because um, then you just grab the bales dump them in there and I've been using those oh wait those bales don't go in there I may have to make an adjustment to the mod to make those fit just thought of that um, I'm sure I'll be able to do that not a big problem as far as rain goes today oops. Uh, it's supposed to rain to the morning, then this afternoon it's supposed to be dry. I don't know if anything's going to be available, and then it's supposed to what? Rain Saturday, Sunday. It's just supposed to rain. Lots of rain. So basically, at this point, um, I guess in between the rain, I want to try to get the soybeans off and get the sunflowers off. It's going to be priority number one. Um, I have plenty. Of silage stored at the moment I do need to refill the thing but um, yeah we've got 259,000 so we'll fill this guy in a little while and then we will probably put a second one up and fill all that one ways too um, but we'll get to that when we get to that it's this rain makes it difficult that is for sure But at this point, I'm waiting for the rain to stop because as soon as I try to go get more straw for feeding these guys or for putting straw in here, and I'm not really that far off from being full here, but uh, as soon as I go out in the rain, it starts losing straw, so I'd rather wait until that point. Um, however, I do want to sell. this guy and then the idea is we're gonna put a new one in over here however I don't necessarily have the ability to put it somewhere yet so let's see here oh that's right I had two different ones sometimes drive through there but I mean if we were to sell it like let's or put it like right here and still drive through there it's pretty accessible for both farms yeah I think I'm gonna put it right there So this should be a sell point for us, so we can uh, sell our manure into this pile. Oh, it's actually like a pile, and it slows you down. <laughs> That's interesting, uh, but we'll have to load this guy out because this guy's getting pretty full. And have to bring the belts over here. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll see how the weather holds out, and hopefully it uh, gets better for us here. Now, I, I know what I said. I said I was going to 
focus on sunflowers and the rest of the soybeans but to be honest I mean you can see up there it's it's too wet to harvest those I figured let's just start chopping silage um, I think it's our best bet I've gotten a decent amount into here but I mean I think it's enough to like fill it like if I were to let it run I think this this is gonna make it like two hundred and fifty thousand units of chaff in there. We've got what two hundred and forty-five. So yeah, it'd probably be enough to fill the five hundred thousand, and there'd be nothing left to process. So that means we got another five hundred thousand to fill into it. So that's gonna take time. Plus, I want to fill another one, or put a bunch into another one, so that we're ready to go for silage. Um, cause it's gonna be easier if we don't, if we have enough, you know. Or I should say if we have too much instead of not enough. But, I mean, for now where I'm at, I'm watching the weather. If it dries out enough, I can start combining again. Otherwise, I'm better off just running silage. Uh, it's not supposed to rain until overnight again, so I could run until dark, basically. But... I mean, we've only got, what is it, like four, five, like six hours at the most, probably right now. And uh, it's not dry enough yet. So, it's going to take take some time. So it's not anything we're going to do this episode, because we're about at the wrapping up point here. I was just waiting to see, because it usually will change um, around the time of the top of the hour so it's 1355 it's almost 1400 so I'm kind of waiting to see what happens there but at the same time I should probably just keep chopping so this field's almost off um, that hay right there is ready to bale or to be cut for baling but um, I don't know the weather for it right now So I'm not sure what's going to happen with that either. But works out. I can just keep chopping along here. And after this field, we go over to that field. And after that field, we go back to where we, we were chopping, which is uh, right here. We're going to keep chopping on that field. Oh, I'm going too fast, apparently, for the chopper. Oh, not far enough back. I can't get too far ahead, is what it is. And while this tractor has plenty of power, it sometimes will struggle up a hill just a little bit. And it's hard to keep up with the chopper. But there's probably a couple loads left here. Um, it's not going to be enough to fill the silo completely. Although we may be able to fill it to the point where I have to wait for the shaft to process and at that point I just gotta stop and let things settle basically but um, like I said that's for another episode so I'm gonna wrap up this episode here we've got we got a lot of straw um, soybean straw stalks whatever you want to call it we got a lot of that processed and uh, I don't know, I was going to talk a little bit about the new FS22 coming, but uh, I think I'll leave that for when it actually releases coming up here in November. Um, so that, we'll see where we end up here as fall goes on, because we're still fighting the weather, is what it comes down to. The weather has not been our friend this fall, and that's very much been just like real life. I mean, that's the way things usually run so it's kind of interesting to to be worried about that and seeing make making sure we have enough time honestly as long as we get uh, like the silage and stuff figured out we get that hay bailed I'm not too worried because we can go into the beginning of winter if we need to so we've got time 
whether we have enough time is going to be the interesting part, and we may not get our fields dug as much as we wanted. But anyways, thank you guys all for watching. Until next time, as always, take it easy.